Tom Rousey continues our team coverage with reaction from Washington, D.C. now. Tom? And Morris, we are actually with a big group of protesters that seems to be growing by the second here along U Street. We've already been walking with them for about five blocks or so. Right now we're at the corner of 15th and U. And this is just a small group of the protesters who are marching down U Street right now. A lot of folks uh, all of a sudden just showed up at once and as they marched down U Street here, the crowd has just been growing and growing. See a lot of folks like these gentlemen right here, very upset. Guys, uh, as we march along here, tell me again, why are you out here tonight? Why are you out here tonight? Tell them you're protest and they're killing our black youth, our black men. They need to stand up and stop the bullshit and let us get Sorry about that right there, the, the language right there, but you can see the raw emotion and the anger because on live, this march right here. We don't sense enough, this is live TV right here, guys. So if you look behind me, you can see the police are trailing the group right here. And you can see it's just growing as far as the eye can see right now. You can see officers in the distance. Stop racial profiling. And you see a lot of people yelling, stop racial profiling. Again, we are along U Street here. We are approaching, I believe, 16th, 16th Street right here. So we're marching west right now. And at one point, they tried to shut down one of the intersections around 14th and U, but folks kept going. So we're not sure how far they're going to march, but they've already marched about six blocks at this point. For a while, it was not a big crowd at all, I can tell you. Then all of a sudden, it just blew up. And right now, I would say at least several hundred people marching west on U Street as they speak in protest of tonight's announcement from Missouri there. Back to you in the studio, Morris. Tom Rousey, thank you. While many have taken to the streets to express an opinion, others have gone straight to their computers. Reaction is pouring in via social media tonight. Kai Jackson is live in the newsroom with what's trending about this breaking news. Kai, what do you have? Well, Morris, you know, social media gives us an opportunity to take a look at what's happening with the given situation. This is a snapshot. It's not the complete picture, but it certainly gives us an understanding in terms of what our viewers are thinking. We partnered here with our sister station, WJLA ABC 7 News, to find out what people are talking about. At this time, 396 likes on our question. No indictment of Officer Darren Wilson. What do you think of this? Let's go ahead and check out some of the comments here uh, and move on. First comment we have in here. I'm glad they bit the bullet and didn't give in to the public and media pressure. The evidence just didn't support an indictment. Case closed. That's from Spencer. Next comment here. Good. Truth and facts over rumor and threats prevail. That's from Brian. Other comments. Donna says the witnesses were refuted. The grand jury did their job. Again, everyone acknowledging, including the prosecutor in St. Louis County, that the grand jury did have a difficult job to do based on the evidence. Next comment coming in from Helen. Now it's time for prayer and for peace. Another comment. Judy says, deeply saddened by all of this, God made us all and loves us all. We need to pray together. What would Martin Luther King say? God bless us all as a nation. And still another comment wrong from Glenda. And Wanda says, yes, as it should be, no charges. Evidence proved it. So, and at the end of the day, all, all this, at the end of the day, this officer will never be able to lead a normal life. That's from Bobby. So those are some of the comments that we have coming in. And again, Morris, we like to point out, this is a snapshot. It doesn't necessarily mean this is what everyone is thinking, but it certainly gives you some insight into what people are thinking. A very emotional issue, again, now that this officer has not been indicted in St. Louis. Back to you. Kai Jackson following social media. Thank you.